Hi, this is Jared Fossum from the Utah Education Network. We're happy to have you with us today. And we're gonna begin by talking about how to make the most of a professional learning experience in an online setting. And to begin with, we're going to discuss professional learning norms. So why norms? First and foremost, norms remind us to be our best self, especially while participating in an online professional learning environment that might feel very different than if we were in person in the same room. By following norms, we will minimize interruptions, whether from our own home or from the homes of other participants. And norms are going to help create a safe and comfortable professional learning environment that's going to encourage everyone to participate. And as you practice good digital citizenship in this setting, it will help prepare you to model to and empower your own students. Norms also help us connect to social emotional learning competencies. So let's take a look at these. The first of these is self-awareness. So as you're beginning this training, first you need to find a good location in your home that's gonna minimize interruptions and distractions. And I would also suggest on having a nice comfortable chair because you might be here for a while. So make sure that where you're seated and located in your home is going to be optimal for you to participate and focus in this learning experience. Next, you need to keep your mute on. It can be very distracting when people have their mute off and you can hear background noise and maybe conversation or just ruffling. Uh, it's very hard for the presenter to know what's going on. And so just make sure that your mute is on unless it's your turn to speak. And then certainly you need to take your mute off so we can hear you. Likewise, you need to keep your video on. Um, there, there may be a point where there's so many people involved that in order to save bandwidth, that the host might ask, ask you to turn your video off. But for the most part, keeping your video on is gonna help you be attentive and focused as well as participating in the training. And then because the video is on, you need to be aware of your appearance. And I, I think the key point here is just make wise clothing choices that you're gonna be happy with other people seeing while your video's on. So our next point for social emotional learning is gonna be self-regulation. You know, it, it can be very daunting to have other people, maybe a, you know strangers or people you know, see what's going on in your home. And you may not want to do that. You may not feel comfortable with that. And a lot of these programs allow you to pick a virtual background, which is fine to do. Just make sure that it's, a, it's one that's going to work in a professional setting and that you choose it early and keep it set. Don't keep changing it and don't have some crazy background that's gonna to draw too much attention to that. Next is nonverbal feedback because we don't wanna be interrupting the, the host or who's ever presenting. You may want to ask questions at times and the host may ask you to do that. And that there are options where you can raise a virtual hand or give a virtual thumbs up. So make sure you're aware of the options you have for nonverbal feedback. Included in that would be the opportunity to use chat. And chat can be a great feature in an online setting because you can ask clarifying questions and comment and really enrich the discussion that's going on. But we don't wanna take away from it and, and have that as a distraction as well. So make sure in the chat that we're limiting our comments to those that are gonna clarify and help the session be productive. And in addition to that, we wanna be positive with our, with our comments. Uh, any interactions we have should improve the experience for everyone. Our next piece for social emotional learning is gonna be social awareness. First and foremost with that is respect. And make sure that as we're sharing and as we're participating, that we're being respectful and kind with our comments that are going to help us uh, enhance and engage everyone in this session. One of the ways that we can show respect is by listening. And as we listen attentively by being focused and not being distracted by 
you know, looking up other sites and I mean, it's easy to get off task when no one's around you, you're at your own home and you know, you, you can just hop on the internet and go wherever you want to go. So make sure that you're listening attentively, that you're focused with your video on unless otherwise instructed. And then the final piece here is just being professional. It, in your own home, there's a comfort level that, that comes with, with being there. And we wanna make sure that as we're sharing this online space that we're being professional with our interactions with everyone else. And now we've got some tips for you. As you're participating in this online setting, you might be sitting for a long time. So make sure that you sit straight in your chair. It, you know, it, it can be, <laughs> we, we all like to slouch and relax, which you can do, but physically your body's gonna run out if you're not sitting up straight. So you wanna have a 90 degree angle at your knees and your hips, and that's gonna allow you to make it through the day or however long you have for this session. When there's opportunities to have a break, make sure you're, you're standing up and you're stretching and, and moving around. If you're in a chair that's elevated and your feet aren't touching the floor, it might be really good to get a foot rest uh, so that you don't wear out. And then you want to make sure that you're, you have something to take in, whether that's, you know, you have enough to drink, might even have some snacks to help you out. And then for your eyes, make sure that you're blinking, that you're not just having a staring contest with the screen and look away when you need to. You know, it's kind of interesting that we say, as you're sitting in your home, staring at a screen, you've got to make sure that you're not physically worn out by the end of the day, but these online conferences have a way of doing that. So make sure that, that you do what you need to do so that at the end of this, that physically you're going to be with us and focused and attentive the whole time. Finally, you, we need to give some credits. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Davis District for implementing their social emotional learning competencies in their professional learning sessions and sharing some of those with us. And then this uh, template for the slides was created by Slides Go. If you haven't used Slides Go, check it out. They've got a lot of great stuff there. Anyhow, thank you for being with us today. We look forward to having a great day with you.